Hi everybody, it's Noelia with My Moxie Dreams. Thanks for joining me on this plan with me for April 12th through 18th. I know I say it every single week, but time is passing so fast. We are already in the middle of April and it feels like we just entered January. How is this happening? Lord have mercy. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am anxious to get started in this plan with me because I'm actually planning a day earlier than I normally would. So hopefully you won't even notice the difference, but let's get started, shall we? Now, I found this in my sticker stash. It is Faithful Fawn Stickers. My planner buddy, Angie, from Color Me Blessed started this Etsy shop and I supported her and purchased a bunch of them. But I had these blue ones and I thought I would use them for something really pretty in this week's plan with me. Dude, isn't that gorgeous? I think it's beautiful. I have an idea. I'm thinking blue and hot pink. So I also have my fun florals and I'm thinking these hot pink florals or these ones. So blue and hot pink is the goal for this week. All right, so we've got our wax paper. And the other thing I knew I wanted to do is I wanted to cut these down. These, these are too big. If I was using my normal five choices, these would be perfect, but because it's in my smaller compact size, I need to cut these down. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut these down. Hopefully it works and we do not screw this up or I don't screw it up. Just to there, I'm gonna do the other side cause I need this guy too to be the same. Okay, and then we're gonna cut it I hope I'm doing this right. Let's pray that I did the measurements correctly, shall we? <laughs> okay, so what I was thinking is I like these two little lines. So I was gonna do here, this blue right underneath. So I'm just kind of placing where I think I want them so we can see if we like it or not. We'll get this other side. For this side, kind of thinking that, and then we're going to do this one. Again, I'm just placing so I can see if it's going to work or not, and I, I guess my measurements were good. Yay me. Okay, so that's what I'm kind of thinking. Obviously, it's going to be positioned correctly. Then I was thinking like putting florals up like this. I just didn't know which florals I wanted. I just knew I wanted them. Cause I was thinking maybe cutting this one in half. Let's try it. See, this is where it matters. If I put them center like that, I can cut the other side off. And then maybe put this guy on this end. Do you guys see what I'm trying to do? Cause I want that hot pink to be like, we can put that like half there or a full one there. I'm just gonna lay some down that we think we're gonna get. I want hot pink. All right, let's try a couple more hot pinks and then see where we go. I might want it coming out the bottom like that. I'm gonna cut these down. I know they look ginormous, but I promise I'm cutting them down. And I might not, we'll just see. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and lay these down the way that I want. Okay, sorry, I'm so focused on the placement of these flowers because they're so ginormous that I wanna make sure that I have them placed in the right location. So it's just gonna be trial and error and then we'll cut them, but I wanna lay these stripes down because these do matter how they're placed. So how have you, all of you been? What is going on? Anything major happened this week? You gotta be really precise when you lay it down. Yesterday, I had some time to chill and I watched on Netflix about the gardener art theft and how they can't figure out who the hell did it. It was really interesting. Like. Totally interesting. 
I'm gonna get this together so I know exactly because you want it to continue where the line is okay hopefully that looks somewhat symmetric all right um, so yeah so it was so interesting just how that heist went down and Bella and the kids they giggle at me Oh, by the way, look what I have, my whiteout. Guess who had it? Not Bella. Jaden had it for some reason. I had to do a handwritten essay for college and he had it. So Bella made sure, she's like, you better go on your next video and clear my name. Because it wasn't her. <laughs> it wasn't her who took it. I did it, I cleared her name. Okay, so now I'm looking at these flowers here. And just trying to see let's do one at a time so anyways that was a really good that was a totally worth it show i think it was only like four episodes but it was good i like crime stuff bella they always giggle at me because i like to watch this crime stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and cut this guy let's get it going And then we'll cut the excess off. All right, that's pretty. Two florals there. Let's cut this guy in half, this little guy. He almost feels not as hot pinky. We're just trying things. I have so many flowers here and I'm like debating I'm gonna try this guy and cut him in half. I'm like so indecisive today. What is going on? I'm normally never this indecisive. I mean, I'm indecisive, but not this indecisive. Thinking I'm gonna put it in Sunday. I'm gonna take this guy if I can. You know me that I need to have things balanced. So these two feel good there. Like part of me wants to flip this down. It's been down so long that I may not be able to lift it now. And it's stuck there. Oh, I don't know why these are, these must be removable stickers. You know, like some stickers are like removable. These have to be those because they're not damaging my sh paper at all, which is a miracle. Okay, because there's two here. I want to do two here. So maybe this big guy, let's cut him in half. We're going to do it and pray it work. I might keep that one. Let's do this one first. Do I like this? I think I do. I think I might take this one out. And I might take this one out. I might just have them be there. Maybe I'll do something here. Maybe I'll do something there. I just, I want the hot pink to pop. This is hard. This is harder than I thought. Okay, let's do the, let's do this. Cause maybe the flowers will come back here. Maybe, maybe I need to cut these again. Gosh, this is way more difficult than I anticipated. Like for real. I thought this was gonna be easy because I'd picked out the florals that I wanted. And boy, has placement been a problem today. I'm gonna do notes. I'm gonna do like halfway. And then I'm gonna do this big flower here. And then I'm gonna do this guy here and have him kind of be right there. Maybe this guy, I'll have to cut his green off because I don't want any green mixing with my beautiful blues. Him kind of be right here so the front and back is easy I don't have to worry about that I might want to do another one right here the smaller one 
Do I want a little flower? I might. And we're just cutting all these flowers up, but at least it has a little sneak peek of flowers. Okay, the backs in, are done. The front and the back is done. Let's get back to using this, shall we? Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking adding a line right here somewhere and then doing these florals not that big. See, I have to cut this off. It's cut like a tail or something. So let's cut this off. I don't know why I'm being so picky today. It's crazy. Maybe do something like this here. Let's move this guy out of the way so we can see what we're talking about. I am like all over the place today. And it's probably because I'm off. My mojo's off on a Friday. I'm gonna put that there. We're going with it. It is what it is. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yeah. If you have kids and they watch Dora, you know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what the new Dora, if Dora is even out there, but back in the day, my kids used to watch Dora and that song was, we did it, we did it, we did it, yay! I'm a dork, I know. Okay, this is, I'm loving this. I'm loving the two, two, and two. I think this is good. I think we're gonna keep it like that. I like the hot pink, I like this blue. I don't know if you can see how just beautiful the blue is. Look at that, hot pink and blue. And again, I've had these stickers from Faithful Fawn Stickers. Angie with Color Me Blessed, I think. I don't think she does these anymore. These were back in 2018 when she started her shop. This is how long I've had stickers. I'm a ring planner. I have been for over 25 years. God, do I have to calculate that now? That's so sad. <laughs> Since I was 19, I'm gonna be 45 in a couple of weeks. Next week, actually. For me, I'm in my planner all the time. My planner literally is my life. Like, I cannot function without this planner. It goes with me to doctor's appointments. It goes with me to meetings at work. It is my lifeline. Everything important is in here. It is not for looks. It's not for Instagram. You guys see what I actually have in my planner. And sometimes that's appealing to people and sometimes it's not. Right now the fad is minimal planning. I'm not that girl. I am very much, when I open my planner, I wanna see things that are gonna bring me joy. And for me, like this came to me when I found this Faithful Fawn stickers. I'm like, oh, blue with hot pink will be fierce. And I was so excited to film this because I knew how excited I was gonna be, not just doing it, but when it's complete, me opening up my planner for that week, it just brings me joy. All of us are different. We plan differently. Different things make us happy and bring us joy. And you need to do what makes you happy and brings you joy. So for a long time, all I did was just write in my planner. There was no stickers, there was no personalization, there was nothing at all in the planner that reflected me. And so it wasn't until 2016, 17, when I found the planner community online and realized like, oh my God, I could totally personalize my planner and started to do that. And then Happy Planner popped in and everybody was just into Happy Planner, me included. I had a fitness planner. I had an amazing budget planner. I had a normal planner. Let me be honest. The only planner I used during that time, despite having a Happy Planner, was my Franklin Covey. I keep touching my Julio, but you guys know what I mean. My Franklin Covey was my life planner, fitness happy planner, my regular happy planner. It was just for Instagram. It was just to do spreads for Instagram and for likes. And I stopped doing that. It, it, there came a point where I got burnout. 
And I was like, you know what? I'm not even doing this for me. I'm the pressure of having to plan and put it on Instagram. It just got to the point where it was robbing my joy and it wasn't even my real planner. And I think I revealed that sometime a few years ago where I was like, I started stepping away from happy planner. Again, love Stephanie Fleming, love her, love the products. They were amazing. But what they did was they taught me how to personalize my planner, the one that worked for me, which the which was a ring planner. I guess all that to say is that me sitting here and doing these planning pages, as much as I love filming it and sitting here and, and pretending like you're sitting across from me and we're chatting, having a good conversation while I'm planning, whether it be mindless thoughts that come in my head or sharing what's happening in my life, my kid's life, or some crazy Netflix show that I watched. For me, it's I'm truly planning my week for me, for a hundred million percent for me. Because when I open up my planner and I see the color, it sparks joy. It genuinely sparks joy in my day. And it makes me excited to open my planner. Even the bills tab, is exciting for me because I know I have things in here that make my life easy, that makes my system functional for me. I guess all this to say, all of us plan differently. All of us have different intentions for our planning. What matters is that you create a system that works for you and that you love your planner as much as I love my planner. I adore my planner. I treat her like a child. Decorating my inserts in a way that I know is not going to monopolize my whole entire page. I like blank space for me to fill in what I need to fill in, but I also like beauty and create Activity and looking at my planner this week and saying, what am I going to put together this week for my, my weekly insert? Because that's where I get to express my creativity and where that joy comes back to me. So anyways, I don't know why I went into that tangent, maybe because, you know, I'm not like everybody else. My planner isn't a happy planner and I'm not a minimalistic planner. When I open this book, I'm the one reaping the benefits of my system and loving the color and the beauty that pops out of this planner. And so I just encourage you not to fall into being a lookalike. Instead, be original, figure out what works and do what I did. There's some things in the minimalistic world that absolutely fits me. And I'm like, oh my God, I never thought about that. I'm definitely using that system. And then there's all these beautiful sticker books that I have and I'm like, I need color in my planner. I'm gonna decorate my planner. Find what works for you. It may be a modge podge of everything like I am. Don't be intimidated. Don't be pressured into being a planner that you're not. Be who you are and let it radiate from your pages. People who have planners that don't represent them, they tend to not use them. So anyways, I'm a dork, sorry for that. Let's go back and finish this, shall we? <laughs> Let's go into this guy and see if there's anything we like. I like this, remember? Let's see if it's the right shade. Is it the right shade? It's like a pinky color. It's not hot pink, but it's pink. We might use that. Let's Put that there. Do you remember? Now I'm gonna have wind, earth, wind, and fire in my brain. Okay. I don't think there's anything else there. I'm trying to decide if I wanna do boxes or anything this week. I may not, I might just write because the flowers are just so gorgeous. I kinda like this. I'm doing it. I'm just laying it down. Where's that remember? Let's do the remember right here. Looks like a little envelope. So I can use these blues, which I'm not necessarily sure I want to do. I think that's just enough florals. I may, because there's a floral here, part of me wants to have a floral up here. I'm going to cut this guy. Let's cut this way first. Part of me likes these little blue ones. I think I have them in here. Okay, so I may use these guys, I may not. So we shall see. We do have a beautiful spread. I love it. I think this is Gorge. I think it's perfect. So I'm gonna cue the music and start filling in. 
I'll see you at the end. I absolutely love this. I love the hot pink and I love the blue. I'm telling you, like if you could see it up close, it just looks so pretty. The hot pink and the blue is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So this is what it looks like. Here's what the back looks like. I feel like I should add another floor over here. So there's the front and the back. Here is what the actual insert looks like done, and I absolutely love it. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit that like button down below, and if you aren't already subscribed, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. Thanks, everybody. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.